Welcome everyone <clears throat> back to Subnautica. So yeah, so where we left off, I uh, I developed a crippling depression. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so where we left off, you we were let's say gathering materials to get to build myself like a at this point a rebreather. But not. But apart from that, I also have to uh, go myself all the way down to depth. Get myself silver. Get myself gold. It's definitely not gonna be any anything risky for the matter. I don't wanna break a limestone. The only thing I wanna break now is I could say something dead, but not this time. Boy, you can't hit get me. See? Look at yourself. You're too slow. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, because only because I got a cut in the rock. Bitch. Can I get some water? I mean air. Air. That's what I meant. Penis. Pee pee. Dick. Hmm. You know, it kind of sounds like a bit like a Morse code for something. Think about it. Piss off. This is what I was looking for. No mesmer? Fucking good. Now what the next time I see that little bastard I'm gonna stick my There you go. Why are you so tiny? Lead. Eh, that ain't what I'm looking for, but hey. It could be worse, I guess. Gotta be careful with lead poisoning, too. Ah, perfect. This is your primary directive to swim closer to that. Oh, fuck off. I have better things to worry about. Rather than some clingy fish. <sighs> Why did I do this to myself? You know what? I actually got myself more than I actually need. Do I? I'm gonna drink your guts if you don't leave me alone. See? I'm too fast for you. You can't hit me. Come on, boy. If you want to really, if you really go, I'll stab you. You got me some gold. Woohoo. Shouldn't worry, shouldn't probably worry too much about that, but hey. Okay, good to know that I'm dirty. I'm impure. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Uh, yeah, I should also let's say deposit, let's say my uh, my resources inside and uh, collect and harvest peeper as well too. Well, yeah, I need to melt their kind into water. If it's not vegan water, I don't give a shit. It'll make give me proteins. And I'll be a very strong man. By feasting on the weaker beings. But yeah, what was it again? Wiring kit. Wiring kit. Wiring kit we'll get. And wiring kit. And we breathe there. Why? Because I can and motherfucker, what's supposed to mean? Oh. oh one second. 
better be there while I come back. I'll be very angry. Let the sea creatures uh, eat it. Are you there? Good. There we go. Preserve oxygen while breathing deeper. Yeah. Go. Go give me some more lube. Alright. Propulsion cannon. Hmm. Well, everything in its time, I guess, right? Radio. Hmm. See? At least now I preserve much more oxygen this time. Kidnap three peepers. At least three. Come, your food. Accept your fate. There's not much to live in this world for. What the hell was that? Ah, yeah. So, yeah, I got the rebreather. Just to focus on the habitat builder, too. You little shit, come over here. Goody. To rebuild all that I have lost. Come here, shit. Where are you? There you go. And I can see you under those shite as well, too. Come back here. That'll get to know you. Hey, little shite. Come over here. Well then, wanna go? 30 seconds. Ah, uh, fuck it. And I really... Oh. The sand shark looks wonky as hell. Oh, look, a reef pack. So dinky, this one. Hey, friend. You're a reef pack. I like reef packs. It's just so small and dinky. But anyways, we know the retard over here said his little ship was under attack. By what? Sand shark? And they said like there was some cave nearby. He was scared. What happened to this guy? Oh, that's pretty dope. I like these guys too. Come. I must scan your space fish. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 meters. Leading to an unknown environmental biome. There you go. The bastard tries to bite me. I'll swear if he does. by a demon. The 
Stand still. Cave creature discovered. That's good to know. There, they were pretty tasty. Ooh. Thirty seconds. If it's as you feel it, if it's just me. Oxygen. I know. Give me a break. Oh yeah. Hey, there was a, there was a cave nearby, right? What the fuck? I like this. Ay ay. Redwood. What else? Huh. Ex excellent. This is perfect. It leads exactly to where the, the other place I. The other place, you know, which I, uh, you know, had like the uh, the mega structure all the way down for it. It's perfect. It's just some purple glowing fungus here. Nothing too special about it. Thirty seconds. Blimey. Reactor. Mm. Fascinating. You're the ay ay ay. There's a reef back over there. Oh, God damn it! Not in front. What the hell? You chill down for a bit. You know that you know what I did last time that the ambassador attacked me? That's right. I put one of those floater things on it. And it wasn't even able to live in peace anymore. Well. Integrating new PDA data. A known infection. Well, they're more aggressive, on that, for sure. As you know, like I saw, they were glowing. They were sick. Eh. Ah, blimey! Thirty seconds. You think I don't know? Oh, yeah, so 
so far what explored so far for the biomes. I think it was a stage very close to like a very different one biome that one time, but <coughs> never explored with it. So I'm not lucky that I didn't enjoy enjoy my time as well like as much as I could for that time. Well actually I did explore a bit, but there wasn't anything, you know, all that interesting to that biome, at least in my opinion. But yeah, the aurora blew up, radiation's leaking into the, uh, into the water. I don't see here some stuff here, so like, yeah, okay, I get it. This is kind of a I have reaching antenna. Why, I could get it electrocuted? Reminiscent of jerky, huh? Nice. Only flavor is salt. Daily dose of salt in a single portion. Because, hey, I mean, spade fish is basically a little swimming bag of salt, apparently. So I have a flavor from. The fish actually tastes like fish. Well, whatever it is. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Copper wire and wiring kit. Almost like purpose room. I need a bioreactor. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Good. Advanced theories. Specimen with symptoms of unknown infection. You're gonna use this plain sign of unknown bacteria infection. Blisters, bright green, forming networks around the sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin. Underlying indication of mitogenetic mutation and aggressive behavior. You think? The bacterium itself is unlike any so far recorded by a human exploration. The further information cannot be synthesized at this time. Warning, contagious. Do not, under any circumstances, consume the flesh. Of course, why would I? That is if I mean, if I mean stupid. Right. Sea moth. Sea moth? Wait. The sea moth is a one person vehicle independent with a principal power cell fitted in the rear. Fully custom by the old design, low power, multi directional thrusters. Enable to function equally and well as see your space environments. Both long range vessels carry at least two vehicles in the class to facilitate exploration of small astronomical bodies. They can also be fabricated by a standard mobile bay. Okay, and everything over here. Modified, increased cargo storage. Your power. <coughs> Nice, okay, good. Even defensive capabilities, too. Up rear, suppression log. Analysis confirmed wreckage is from the aurora. Uh, outer layers of the material have oxidized, suggesting it's been heated to. Yo, you think? As holding the degradation, atmospheric entry, salvage of uh, intact proportions. <sighs> A Volterra ve vessel is prohibited. Oh, salvage of intact portions of the Altera. Prohibible, legal, moral, and technical level. However, scraps at these at these may be reclaimed for their titanium content at any Altera fabricator. No, because it's from Altera, so what the fucking hell would it not would it not be? Hmm. These common porous outcrops form amounts of precious metals, otherwise metals part of sedimentary buildup over time. 
Lead, silver, and gold. Nice. Hmm. The fawn. Carnivore. The biter. Uh, we already know about this little, that little asshole. And then there's the sand shark. And uh, blood. Uh huh. Feet. Angulation. Picks herbivores twice its size. Yeah, yeah, because they're gonna get a little feet over here, too. Alright, the herbivores, we've got the eye eye, which is this freaky little thing. Extreme and veterinary adaptation where 90% of the body's mass is decayed to ocular. Ca well, this is the eye. Oversized eyeball. Deep set ring lens suggests that in defined predators in low light environments, where they come into range. They got also the underdeveloped fins. In keep with fast movement. This uh vulnerable to agile predators at close range. Sharks may have evolved hunt techniques. Foods on the eye eye unseen. Well then again where does where does it eat? Huh? Pretty beautiful one. Small school mentality prey fish with a unique method of propulsion. Antenna rather than swimming. This life form, life form using the fine green antenna which encircle its entire body composition of water. Oh, sail. Camouflage. Yeah, this is what I don't know. Active at dawn and dusk. Assessments edible. Okay, so this thing will like, uh, be like uh, electronic. Let's see if I'm biting it like be electrocuted. Hoverfish. It said like this thing was like a little small reptile. Carnivorous, cautious herbivore. Only found in shallower environments. <coughs> Footpads. Uh, capable of ionizing the sun water. Hmm. Okay. Seems quite interesting. The reach back. Limited data variable, the microorganism cells, creatures, indicate ages, ages between 100 and 300 years old. The chitinous plating, plating. Uh, the creature's armor plating is thick enough to interfere with the spectro spectro spectroscopic analysis. And on pods, these pods are green in color, similar to the glands in other creatures. Maybe those might be its eyeballs? I don't know, if the eyes aren't here, then these might be the eyes. Tentacles. Total length of 25 meters, provide low speed propulsion. Sociable, is in small pod, behavior consistent with low level sentience. Why, you mean like, 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 a, like a water zombie just floating around? Fascinating. Got the Reginald. A common prey fish. Filters along the algae and the material from the water via grill like mounted orifices. Oh. Edible high calorie count. Careful, you guys might get fat with this thing. Oh, the spade fish. Common herbivore that seem to avoid shallow waters. Observe in swimming near the seabed where it can keep one eye on the panders above it. Uh. Multi green coloration. Common encounter in uh, plant rich environments, spade fish is well adapted to hide amongst vegetation. Didn't see much about this one, didn't it? The floor of. Oh, the sea. The blue palm. Aquatic thrives in shallow water, including some eye like fawns. Okay. Not distinctive. Okay, good to know. Red wart. Adaptable in different environments. Huh, nice. Complex cave like floor specimen. The bright yellow core of its plants protected by a rigid cage. Ward off medium sized herbivores. Hmm. Violet Boo. A common luminescent plant that grows in patches in the seabed. Well, I have anything else, so that's pretty much it. Yes, that's pretty much it. Oh well, might as well uh, keep track of what I'm doing. I should probably get my hands on the uh, 
on the uh, what's it called again? Yeah, the radiation suit. But that's not. It's actually pretty goddamn easy, actually. Well, there's not much over here. Actually, first off, I mean, since we got the assault deposit. Right, right, let's see. Yeah. There you go. Right. How much I got? One, two. Yeah, two of them. Seems about right. I'll then turn to bleach, and we'll then bleach the filtered water. Good water. Because hey, why is there a necessity around here? Oh uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what else I can I can do as of now. Oh yeah, the creep vine. That's what we need. I think I'm gonna count about four bit what I'm gonna do. What not to get. I think, you know, the fish that I pick up is the difference are pretty much minor. I'll cut ya. That's one. Try me, bitch. Try me. I'll cut ya. Feels good now, doesn't it? Here, come back here. I ain't done yet. What, you gonna run away now? Oh, you better run away, boy, because I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Yeah, think I don't care? Tickle, tickle. Time to put the tickles. Tickles gonna, gonna, gonna kill you. Yeah, you run, boy. You fucking run. Now you die. You're gonna die here. You're gonna fucking die here. <laughs> you're fucking gonna die here. <coughs> but you think, you're, you think I'm kidding? Hit me again one more time, and you're gonna be bailing. You wanna go, huh? Okay, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna kill you here. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. See? Look at this. A knife. I'm gonna kill you now. Ah, now I'm gonna. But misplace one predator to another place. Ah, <laughs> uh, two of them. Food. Ah, you got one. Some things I definitely don't, well, I'm not gonna need for now, aren't I? Uh, fair enough. Oh, goody. <laughs> I also should make myself some more batteries, too. As you know. My, uh... You know, this little thing over here, what's it called? I'm gonna need, you know, some definitely some batteries for when the time really need comes. I'm thinking about putting two in spare. Water. I mean, air. Now. More. Now. There you go. Thank you.
Fair enough. Let's get a move on. Copper. I was a little skeptical of, of you know, fully breaking it. You do know what's gonna happen with you if you dare, if you dare to think with me, right? Yes. Oh, wait, sea glide. I don't think I need any more titanium as of now, do I? Return it to the sea. I seem like I got a message. <clears throat> Was that really necessary? Why can't I never get a, a damn thing fully scanned or whatnot? So I progress a little bastard. Sunbeam just uh, try to land on a reef back, and then it all goes down to shite. Oh well. But hey, I mean, all the radiation outside, might as well just uh, see if I can get it fixed, I guess. Bingo. Okay, just some belts I'm gonna wear on myself. That's uh, pretty handy. Regardless, I should also bring myself some batteries too. Even if it's with just one. Should I wait for daylight? Yes, I could, you know, wait for daylight myself. But the problem is... Oh, those goddamn bat... <coughs> turn outside, uh... I mean, the goddamn radiation that hasn't, uh... Wasted an opportunity. Right. I can make myself like a bit of a power cell, but... Do I want to? I don't know. I also feel like taking a piss as well, too. Let's see. We need to make our way directly to the front of the Aurora. Right, give me just a second. Uh wait. To pause. Wait, this one? No. Oh shit. Alright, give me a second. I'll uh mm, I don't know. Anyway, let's just get a move on. Uh, at least in the water, we should be able to travel much faster and cover much more ground. And I also believe we should better off. Uh, how the how can one say? Yeah, I noticed. There you go. But uh, yeah. We 
we're not even close. And sure, this green view is uh, quite a charm, isn't it? There you go. 101 health. Oh, try and stop me. as well too like there's a lot of you know good stuff like uh around to offer and whatnot oh shit i do know what this what this part is of, of now yeah yeah fuck me what the hell i'll investigate that uh, that one at a time right now what we need to do Right now, what we need to do is basically fuck off, will ya? As in, go away. I'm trying to help ya. No roaring. I guess there's no roaring as well. Black hole reefs in this region are sparse. The aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Well, thanks for the heads up, Miss Obvious. Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. Yeah, I noticed. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Expression. Yeah, I got the first expression. Oh. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. I could, you know, I could. What the f- oh, fuck me. Huh? Okay, good. I brought that with me. That's, oh, shit. Why did I drop that one away? Jesus Christ, I have a death wish or something? Huh? Should have brought more with me. Thank you. Ah, much appreciated. Make this on a four. Cargo Bay Administration. Maybe some <gasps> Ow shit. Some other time. Definitely some other time. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. You gotta be kidding me, right? I mean, this one here is actually one, one, one easy way to go. Well, please only be a little better. Please. Locked. Shit. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. You think? over here then where the hell is it?
Go away. Huh? Don't seem to have much shit over here. Yes, I have fallen. Big deal. Where is all this radiation coming from? Come out. Shit. Oh well. Right, at least. So I'm gonna need myself a goddamn laser cutter, huh? <sighs> oh well. Right then. Of course, the ingredients are unknown. Power cell. These ones are gonna actually get pretty pretty easy. The question is if it's uh, gonna be a thing that is important. Shit then. What the fuck? Thank you, sulfur. Oh, guys, you want to highly aggressive. As usual, right? As usual. Fish. This unusual species has developed an emergency defense mechanism upon a mutually assured destruction of uh, concentration of sulfur build up in the organism over time. The crash fish collides with something with sufficient speed the spikes are impacted, triggering an explosive chemical reaction. Forward mounted eye enables the creatures to track towards the potential predators and sulfur plants. stronger, more protected plants. So it's basically it's, it's basically like a little uh Okay. Fascinating I guess. Quite fascinating.
What the hell? You got some sort of death wish? Come on, then! Glide. Nah. Gotta chill out. Another sea glide. Counter. But why not? New blueprint acquired. Another sea glide. Better chill out. Beacon fragment. There you go. Wanna go, huh? And they'll get a stabbing and a slashing as well, too. A tank of high capacity, and yet I uh, and yet I well, it's a trade off, you know. If I want to stay underwater longer, might as well uh, <coughs> get used to it. Are you right? Does it hurt? Try me. Get close to me. You're gonna hurt even worse. You got some sort of a death wish? Well, sure. Sure. And there's no laser cutter recipe here. Or a piece of it. Oh, then again, who could who cares, right? Seconds. Hmm. Well, <laughs> at least I'm, you know, just swimming around the ocean with a huge suit of lead, which doesn't protect all that much against radiation. Done. And uh, so 
garbage. I'll keep that in mind until the point of where I forget it. Be boy, you'll be uh, floating atop the, the water surface if you keep up like this. Should I go back over there and try to get all the data and whatnot? I guess we should, you know, but for another time. much of them now. What should we do now? The uh, Habitat Builder? 
Well, I guess I should, you know, if we're good for the habitat builder. Yeah. If it gets for one, you know, for the habitat builder. I got a computer chip already. Now I need the wiring kit. And for that, I need silver. Silver ore. Amazing. I'm gonna electrocute you with this. And even a drunk geyser as well, too. Peeping a little peeper. Gasopod. Then again, I really don't know about this, but uh, a Subnautica made in Unity. I don't know. It could be. But. I don't know. That's just, just that's just my bets. <coughs> Thank you. Right. Not to find myself a little stand so no. There you go. Think of the devil. Right. So basically, should already have enough for the for the time being. But I guess I would always be more than welcome to give myself any as much material as I can for the time being. I can basically push this little, this little fella. It's a little mean, but... Eh. I get knifed. as of now, I think I already picked up as much salt as we would need for the time being. There's some more keepers. Yeah, you can have some fun with that metal thing. So yeah. Well. You know what's gonna happen? You know what happens? Oh, and then! Think I'm done? Oh shit. You too, huh? Thirty seconds. Good. That's what it is gonna jump.
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly what I needed. I'm also gonna need my uh, computer and chip as well. And a habitat builder. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Uh-huh. You're gonna be a little more specific, but alright. Right, now the now the run for titanium is is on. I want to see if I can make myself like a house. Or a, uh, there you go. That's excellent. See if at least what over there is going to be withstandable. Where's the foundation? reminding me if I had well that only increased hunger well I guess uh, vegan hell's lifestyle isn't good enough for the for this planet well and look look at that we got a new message and the predator is that I uh you know, misplaced from the creep vine biome. Retarded. Calorie intake recommended. I'm not kidding now, are you? I need a calorie intake and I'm not gonna die because of one scrawny little fish. Cooked peeper, rotten. Ah, uh, nice little graveyard. Well, yeah. Vital signs stabilizing. Ah, uh, hell, I care. I'll, I'll grab these peepers and I'll eat them on the spot. Good. Eat them alive. Hey, you better run, boy. Right. Come here. Come here. Out of it. I require the flesh. The, uh, the flesh of randomized aliens or not. There you go. Check it off, see if there's something. And I was right. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. 
We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. And I'm the babysitter, right? At this point, I'm, I don't even care anymore. So, right. Wait. Let's go away, goddammit. PDA data. 30 seconds. Yeah, flare. Lead. And that's pretty much it, isn't it? Fine. Swim back. There's no one out here. On the abandoned PDAs of their demise. They do claim to have their sea glide damaged. But hey, when they got there, there's actually not even a single soul to be seen. There you go. At least got those rats away. First off, I just wanna... You know, where the bloody hell is my little bait? There it is. What they have this time? Data down for survivors. Hmm. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Someone's actually pretty goddamn retarded, isn't it? Transfer. 
That's the fuel line. Boom. And there it did. Right. It's a beacon. <sighs> Damn it. Lead and titanium. At least glass, you know. <laughs> Makes it seem to be quite easy. Base attached air pump and solar panel. What else you got? Ladder, bioreactor. I don't know. I guess you know I pretty much cover you know pretty much like a no but but pretty much a lot of. A good amount of ground, though, for the time being. I need to sleep. This is what we got here so far. I mean, we, we know so far the, uh, the Aurora is pretty goddamn, say, uh, has a higher complexity of a little structural level. So we're exploring. Also, we got still plenty more, uh, uh what, uh, what, what we got? Aurora, it's Sunday. We've made orbit, and scans have found a landing site on the planet that's only rated hazardous. <laughs> it's our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. We'll be there in two days' time. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. 40 minutes, huh? Mm. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Be hazardous. <clears throat> Good thing is, I haven't really been touched on a, uh, on even a little, I don't know, something. I mean, I haven't even, even touched on the habitats or not. Now it, it wants me to sail away. Let's see whatever the hell this is gonna really lead to. Self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to scout around the area first. So yeah, well, it was 49. Well, I went to about 47. So yeah, it took me about 7 <coughs> 10 minutes to reach this place. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Yeah, you know, building over there looks a little unusual for that matter. <clears throat> right. 
right. Bobo tree. Yes. One more and I swear I'm gonna cut you. Actually, never mind. I'll cut you right now. <coughs> you know my... bit of a sense of respect, I'd say. It's leaking something. <gasps> what the hell? The whoever owned this thing, he also uh, he also perish as well. Whatever the hell this thing is. Stupid. indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Radioactive? That's a plus. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Huh? Oh, you said it. Huh? Huh? Unknown language. Attempting huh? translation. PDA data. No, no, no. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. I didn't agree to this, but okay. You're joking, right? Huh? 
This feels like I'm playing Halo 2. I'm not kidding. It actually does. And holy shit, is this awesome. What the hell? That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Self-scan complete. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Fair enough. Yes, it's an alarm. Doomsie device. That's actually pretty that actually sounds pretty cool. The scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Right. I don't wanna I don't know about this. I don't Thankfully that worked out well. Before I actually disable this uh, facility quote unquote Broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Quarantine. I think I can only know what this means. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Am I infected with the flood? Or what the hell is it now? Anyways, I'll come back and just play some of the time. Stabilizing. Whatever data this was uh, that I had of here is already uh <clears throat> I'll 
be able to see run over the, through the deed through, through the deed as soon as I get a display. And then we'll see. And then we'll see. Please, huh? Nah. You can reach over there so goddamn easy. Oh, forget about these things as well, too. When I go, huh? Ow, mother! Do us a favor and just die. Review the, the intel we got you so far. Hmm. That is quarantine, huh? Well, imagine my surprise. Gel, territorial carrion feeder will dead to both land and sea. Gas exchange membrane. Mandibles, huh? It's kinda of basically it's basically a, a little vulture. I see. Fascinating. The bulbo tree. Of roots sprout work cause leaves and suggested the sap produce with this plant is poison insects. <coughs> very, very fascinating. Data downloads, healing data, artifacts. Hmm. I'm humanoid using mine. Without humanoid, or the right need for humanoid. <sighs> There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. You think? Doom the device. Scans indicate that this device contains enough poten potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with the solar system. <clears throat> it was uh, presumed to be used in the event of quarantine failure. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Fortunately? Or unfortunately? I don't know. I like it, by the way. Let's see. Scan data. Hidden arch. This, uh, this structure is uh, indented, previous unclear. Power lines uh, from... The uh, terminal of the nearby nerve, suggested can be switched on and off if connected to the right energy source. There is some function, ceremonials, or religious role, industrial application, advanced transportation network, 
My bad, this is it's a, a teleporter. At least. Energy core. This device houses stars and energy can go out to a one one hundred MT and clear detonation, which can be channeled through the facilities and direct vessels overhead, or bent in the planet's gravitational pull to strike targeting its orbit via the attached terminal, allowing the device to be deactivated if necessary. It's only it's currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Oh dear. Oh the terminal. This device uh, matches no known technologies and is likely in alien nature. Power is being routed by the terminal nearby the force field. The technology is far beyond encountered by the Federation. Nonetheless, if there's some chance, it functions like a regular lock and the only thing it requires is the correct kind of key. Well, at least that. On cube. This uh, green material substance uh, has no entry period on the periodic table. An unprecedented ability <sighs> destroys huge uh, amounts of ionic energy within. Likely grown artificial cubic appearance suggests it's been cut from a large deposit. Each uh, cube contains the equivalent uh, ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Ooh. Under the uh, right conditions, the energy can, could be released in a controlled manner. Likely uh, it uses batteries, would require a substantial power to be recharged. Unless they were discardable. Right. Alien data terminal. A silly is not possible to get any useful information. Our scans will return to some information as well. It's likely a solid state computer. Although, <coughs> no clear way to inter interface it with it. An approach begin producing low frequency radio containing complex but recognizable data patterns. <coughs> it's likely the aliens, uh, species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device. Communicate back the mental process required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Hmm. Fascinating. Disease Research Facility. Intercepted in regarding a further Facility else in the planet. Disease research facility. Personnel 7. Function Life Specimen Study. Objective the synthesis of an antidote for the highly infectious bacterium design Karar. Location cave system with extensive fossil record. Southwest enforcement on platform 800 meter depth precaution. Yeah, precaution. Uh, Remote containment and research sites to reduce risk contagion. Off-site uh, per power generator. Ground-to-air quarantine enforcement platform in case of security breach. Eee. Well, looks like these retards they chose like a very nasty place to land. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced. If the immediate effect, the quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming outgoing craft to prevent spread infection off world. So basically everything coming to this planet is here to stay. Or just you know, just slowly being consumed, huh? Enforcement platform schematic. This data sends to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping three-dimensional space as possible. Together, understanding of the facility's internal workings, construction material. The material is a known device, uh, an ultra hard non reactive metal allogam synthesized from off world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by any available means, which is good, I guess. The power of the schematic uh, indicates facility that was powered by separate self sustaining power plants. 
located elsewhere in the planet. Where it is, I don't know. Location not listed, but there is evidence that the designers intended to harness the planet's uh, natural thermal energy. So, someone pretty, someone pretty hot, huh? The layout, uh, fac this facility consists of uh, the upper engineering section, where the schematic was found, the control room, which is accessed via security sealed elevator shaft or separate underwater mo moon pool. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, the controls in the room of the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. High of the schematic does not detail the operation, procedure, or install security measures. Huh. I don't even know why, actually. Fifteen more minutes. It's about two a.m. in the morning. Oh, blimey. The things I do for you guys. <laughs> well, at least I find that to be more agreeable. Refreshing, and that's from one thing for sure. Well, not much of it to be seen, isn't it? And that's why. Oh, that's why. I like the character design, by the way. I won't be able to have. I won't be able to stray too far away, because you know. I uh, would need to. That's pretty fucking deep. Pretty deep, actually. Be honest, if the uh, aliens gonna, <coughs> the ship's gonna drop in, then matter what's better be a good uh, fireworks show. Eh, not what I'm looking for, but hey. Coming for you now. Anyone else? Hmm. Didn't think so. Well, this is the peepers live. Well, that's a plus, I think. Sandstone, gold, and all that shite. Do you know what what will, <coughs> what could make me happy at this point? One of them uh, limestones, silver ore, special equipment that required to collect from this resource. You think? Hey, Bush. Fascinating, I like that. Hmm. Anyways, it's called Subnautica for a reason, right? Because it's all submersive.
Huh. Quite well, a little bit scared actually, but hey. If I get more land, I'm gonna ditch it. Magnet magnetite. No, you're not joking, are you? There's definitely not gonna have any beating the limestone around, isn't there? Good thing I mean <coughs> At least uh <coughs> At least I uh, get myself like a little a little uh Habitat? Well, that'd be good, actually, if you think about it. But holy shit, is that deep. Thirty seconds. Diamond. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. Oxygen. Well, you know what? They will fucking better pay me. Otherwise, I'm gonna tell their. I'm just gonna pin them on their desk. I'm gonna take me survival knife. I'm gonna shove them down their backs. And I'll cut off their kidneys and sell them. What the hell? Yeah, even the people over here, the... Yeah. I'm not gonna touch that thing. Whatever, whoever knows where, the, where, where it has been. Maybe it could have been infected with the flood. Consume any of the bacterial strain, right? I guess being exposed to every shed hole, this place has. And this place only gets all the more interesting, doesn't it? The music sounds as it sounds. Wow. Like, holy shit. The hell is this thing? A Cyclops. Well, imagine my shark. Seven minutes. I guess we'll make like a break for the surface, right? I have to... Oh, you wanna go? Seriously, you wanna go? When it starts to slash in... Your boys are pissing away. Cause I'm coming for ya. One blood? Here, have some. Lucky the dead one that took the blow. At least you can make some on it. Reginald. New creature discovered. Only now you realize it. I like his face, by the way. Intake vital signs stabilizing. What the hell that sound? Okay. 
Okay. Ain't gonna be much, but hey, better, better, gonna be better than nothing. Yeah, you're infected. Get the hell out of here. Big this uh, this uh, this ship's gonna be. <clears throat> well, at least this one's clean. I said this one's clean. Penguin. Quit, quit that, will ya? Oh, these little shits. Oh, you cut me a break, will ya? Bank, indigenous life form, sky ray. Sky ray has a bird head like head, feathered wings able to fly. Evolutionary connection to waterborne. Disaster, waterborne. Ah, fascinating. Presence mean they can try around. Well. I'm not too surprised about that, if that's the case. Cave bush. Away from sunlight, like a fungus. Well, it may not be a fungus, but you get what I mean. So I see. Huh? Can't overfeed myself on this thing. Huh? Who knows huh? what uh, huh? bad results this thing could have. That would say, uh, Skyray got caught uh, in the sea like that. Maybe a bit of a misfortune or what? Those no infected. Infected with what? And from that, my the answers are not all that clear. That in, you know, in the terms of, uh, you know, I mean, how can I say, on, on being like, like, it's fucked, you know, I mean, as in, let's say, outbreak, and everyone just became a zombie, and I'm gonna have to use a, uh, Yeah, 
later to make uh, a few interesting sounds. To be honest, I wish you could explore the cave, but hey, duty calls. And I think I better get to the surface, otherwise I believe I might be getting cr I might be getting crushed. If not, then I might I'll just fuck off all the way back to my little pod and whatnot. broadcast from the sunbeam. I don't believe it. There's someone down there. Aurora, survivor. We have your PDA signature. I don't know how you walked away from that wreck, let alone survived since then. But we'll be happy to bring you on board and hightail back to Federation space. Stand back. We're approaching the landing site now. Breaking atmosphere in five, Amanda, four, Amanda, I'd recommend three. you be more careful. What is that? No, the red spike. Well, mm. oh dear, now I know it. <clears throat> now I do know. Where all the uh, debris, you know, can be explained throughout the sea or whatnot. Uh, huh? I wanna go to sleep, huh? but I'm now huh? dwindled in curiosity. There you go. I guess uh, you're gonna be all good for the time being. sound a little more, you know, cybernetic than biological. Who knows, it could have been, let's see, the, uh, the waves of the sea and whatnot. Great. I think I can kind of pinpoint
what, what really happens now? Eh, look at my little pet over there. feelings about that style of message but hey well I mean <clears throat> it's not like this plane is mostly being threatened about say with the radiation left by my ship or what oh no 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 let's say I mean this plane has a uh, quite a bit of an outbreak and every time I scan myself over here at least now I can you know have a better understanding what this all means or whatnot and I guess we went poking around a little too far. And whatever, aliens... I don't think they weren't, they weren't a little too happy about that, but, you know... I think we think we have a bit of a cut. This one here just for the heck of it. Oh yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. Let's look forward to the next one. I'll see you guys next time, and until then... Oh! And also be careful that the, uh, the little halo aliens, they don't grab you while you're sleeping and whatnot. And it shows Sable too, you know. There. Now the only thing wa I'm waiting now is for the, uh, you know, for, for Shadow Clay to fix to get in all, the, all the videos saved up and then boom everything should be all good I'll be able to get myself some sleep and I'll see what else I can do well 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 then Subjects designated mode hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. So, you're telling me that there are about nine other survivors, and uh, well, this has got even more, even more interesting. Well, imagine if Subnautica they made us like a story mode. Should make things a little bit more easier, I guess. Yeah.